some people have talked about uh, there are people like I talked about you know there is a percentage of people who actually want to be out here some of them say their family was out here they live out of town eight nine hours they came here to be with their family because they're on the streets and they're not going to abandon their families and also people are asking us to question why do people have a lot of mental health issues you know we can say that people on the homeless have a lot of mental health issues well you would too you just got to be homeless about a week and you're going to have some mental health yeah, issues, maybe yeah. even a day. Yeah. And so a lot of the people who are coming to the streets now, we're hearing this from people who are generationally poor, who come from it. Yeah. That a lot of these people have no idea how to survive yeah. Yeah. because they haven't been given any skills. Yeah. And you know, leaving my security up to other people is not the natural way to go. I have to be aware and in my body and present. And a lot of people aren't. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you, you you touched on that about the war and the poor. I think we have to look at the consequences of that is often multiple mental health, you know, drug addiction, that kind of stuff. You know, how one, one yeah. fellow, he came around here, he first judged the crack addicts. He thought we were news media. I said, oh, we're doing a documentary. He said, oh, yeah, those effing crack addicts. I said, well, you know, we're actually taking a different perspective. You know, we understand addiction. And I talked to him for about a minute, and he said, well, the bottom line is he came to this. I'm on crack. I'm living in a, in a single room occupancy nightmare. He said, I, I suddenly was without uh, a home and I was barely hanging out with the job, couldn't afford anything and he had to get in there. It was the only place available and he was doing crack within a couple weeks. He yeah. said it was just the most, it was like a nightmare in there. Yeah. And it, it's even hard to get in there to show it on camera yeah, yeah. because of how protected it is. It's very bizarre. Yeah. We're going to go outside of it and just point it out on the outside yeah. of the building. But uh, I mean, there's a certain percentage of people that have always wanted to you know, be like hermits, live on their own, and mm -hmm. step outside of society. That's their right. I mean, it's a choice that they make willingly, and they want to do that. You know, they should be allowed to do that. You, you, you touched on that about the war and the poor. I think we have to look at the consequences of that. Is often multiple mental health, you know, drug addiction, that kind of stuff. But you know, this homeless problem that we have has been created. There is actually no reason for it. It's been deliberately created by government policy, by successive governments. And this government is simply the worst, you know, the most social governments. But, you know, preceding governments also did this. Throughout the country, the, so the housing program, the public housing program, have all been extinguished. I mean, you know, the, 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 in the 60s and 70s, there was an excellent housing program where low income and, and social housing was being built by governments, and it was being successfully run, and it, you know, that took, people were not on the streets to the extent they are now. These were deliberately set aside.